summer day, Dad made an announcement! Okay, family, we're going to do something excited this weekend. You're taking us to a baseball game? I'll bet we're going to the beach. Yippee! What are we going to do? We're going camping. I love to go camping when I was a kid. Well, the camper rooms have a basketball court. I'll be fun to meet some kids and shoot hoops. I'll bring my sketch pad so I can draw some pictures of the animals we see. That's a splendid idea. It took the Nelsons a few hours to pack the camping gear and supplies into their car. After they finished, they hit the road. By late afternoon, they had arrived at the park where they'd be camping. Hello, folks. How can I help you? We're here to camp. How long do you plan to stay at the park? Just tonight. We'll be leaving Monday morning. Are you familiar with the campground? Yes, I used to come here all, all the time when I was a boy. I'm continuing the tradition with my children. That's wonderful. Here's a map showing the trails and campsites. You might need it to refresh your memory. Are a lot of people staying here this weekend? No, the park is a half full. Here you go. This is a brochure list rules and regulations. Enjoy your visit. The Nelsons drove off into the park and started looking for a nice campsite. What a beautiful campground. I can't wait to check out my table for a hike is a great idea. But first we need to put up our tent. Then we'll be free to enjoy the rest, the rest of the outdoor afternoon. Don't forget we need to catch some fish for dinner. How about we put up the tent and then hike to a fishing Okay, but let's hurry. I want to see some animals before it gets dark. The Nelsons quickly assembled their tent and arranged their sleeping bags inside it. Then they grabbed their fishing poles and hiked to a fishing spot up the river. Ah, uh, there's nothing quite like uh, fishing when I was a boy. I caught a trout float where, uh, that was at one of my arms. As long as your arm? Come on, Dad! The Nelsons spent a pleasant hour fishing. Then they got back to the campsite. Dad showed everyone how to build a campfire. Then he grilled the fish they caught while Mom made a salad. They ate dinner beside the campfire, and after dinner, Dad started telling stories. Have I ever told you about the fierce creature that lived in the forest? Mountains here in the Pacific Northwest? No, 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 I don't think so. Come on, Dad, you're just trying to scare us. No, I'm not trying to scare you, but many people have been scared. There's a creature called Stat watching me, the one some people call it. moment, the Nelsons heard footsteps, and they saw a light. The park ranger was making his nightly rounds. Hello, just making my rounds. That sure, that sure sounds campfire going on. Make sure you put it out completely before you turn in. We'll do, ranger. Have a good evening. So, Dad, you were saying some people call it Bigfoot? Right, Bigfoot or Dad? It all started when the first European settlers came to this part of the world. Native Americans told them about a tall, hairy creature that lived in the north, east, forest, and the mountains. It says, well, it's sort of like a giant. The legend said that it's tall enough to be one. But else, those that live will say about Sasquatch. Well, most people who have seen Sasquatch say we can smell it. You know, it's just before you get to the dump. That's exactly right. How many people have seen Sasquatch, Dad? Why don't you claim to have seen it, Tim? And anyone who's caught a glimpse of that of Sasquatch has described it as looking like an ape with beady little eyes and long teeth. They say it ambles around on feet as long as your arm. Is he or 
is it dangerous? We don't know. Whenever Sasquatch has been sighted by humans, it quickly run away. Of course, it, that doesn't mean Sasquatch is dangerous. It might be quite serious of it, but if it corners or surprises, but we don't have all the facts, so nobody knows for sure. What else do people say about Sasquatch? sit around the campfire a little longer. Sunrise is early and we'll be tired tomorrow if you don't get caught to your feet. You can scream to your sleeping bag bags while Dad sets up the campfire. As the wind drifted off to sleep, thoughts of Sasquatch crashing through the forest and stumbling over their tent filled his imagination. And Wayne wasn't the only one with Sasquatch on his mind. Dad dreamed about a huge furry ape lurking in the bushes and suddenly reaching out to grab him. Dad tossed and turned and rolled around in his sleeping bag so much that he woke the kids. What was that? Did you hear it? Hear what? It sounded like something moving around. Dwayne fumbled for his flashlight next to his sleeping bag as he opened the tent flash flap. He saw something that made his blood run cold. It's Sasquatch. I see its little beady eyes glowing. Where, where? Let me see. You can shut, spoke Mom and Dad. What's going on? I saw Sasquatch. Dad stuck his head out of the tent and shined the flashlight at two glowing eyes. A startled owl flew out of the tree next to the tent. <laughs> it was only a, an owl sitting in the tree. Come on, kids. Let's all settle down and go back to sleep. I thought it was Sasquatch. I must have heard the owl uh, while uh, sleeping. Then the others crawled back into their sleeping bag and slept until dawn. The park ranger came by while mom was, or while dad was chopping firewood and mom was cooking breakfast. Good morning, Mr. Nelson. What a beautiful day! Just wanted to make sure you're still planning to stay. You betcha. In fact, maybe we'll stay another two nights. I'll come by the ranger station later and let you know. Sure thing. I'll see you there then. Oh, and by the way, I hope you brought your swimsuit. There's nothing better than a summer swim in the river. Let's go swimming! Okay, we'll go out to breakfast. Simon and Dwayne decided to play a game of catch while they waited yeah. for their breakfast. Sonia threw the ball too hard and it sailed off into the trees. Dwayne chased after it, going deeper and deeper into the woods. Suddenly he smelled a whiff of garbage and looked up just in time to see a large, hairy body dashing away. Sasquatch! I, I saw Sasquatch in the woods. I smelled garbage and then I saw something big and hairy run away. I'm sure it wasn't that much time. I'm going to wash up. I'll be back soon. Dad walked down the path, smiling to himself. That Wayne has such an imagination. I guess he gets it from me. <laughs> Dad had walked far when he saw three huge footprints. Hmm. Where are these? Are they? Nah, could it be? Dad kept walking until he could no longer ignore the foul smell in the air. Suddenly, he heard something move. He rushed back to the campfire, and trembling a half an hour later, the Nelson's car was roaring out of the park, heading for home. I wonder where... Oh, I know, they probably want to buy swimsuits. 